Namaste and welcome. In today's Trauma Sensitive Yoga Session, we will look to bring freedom and ease to the breath. When we were with the upper trunk, heart and lungs, and also all the business on the back body, where we often feel tension or restriction, tightness, pain. Changing how we breathe is profound in changing how we feel. In yoga, we link our breath directly to the nervous system. And one pondering from our breath, how we breathe directly influence the chemical balance in the body between the oxygen and the CO2. If we have a tendency to breathe with our mouth, literally called mouth breathing, the breath tends to be more shallow and it can lead to anxiety and big anxieties, panic attacks. So whether you may be feeling a shortness of breath, heart is racing, dizziness, chest pain, you may be sweating or hot flashes, trembling, choking, nausea, numbness. These are the physical uh, ways we can feel a panic attack. Now, the emotionally ones, we may feel a sense of unreality, fear of losing control or fear of dying. And as our CO2, CO2 imbalance grows stronger, that can be, still being studied, uh, be what pushes us into the panic realm. So the sooner we realize things are not turning out in our favor, if we can bring our attention to the breath, we can turn the ship around. This takes practice. So starting from this, we'll do it seated first, and then I'll invite you to come onto the mat and then we'll do it again. We're simply going to exhale through a pursed mouth. We'll let the in-breath be normal, but we, as best as you can, breathe in through the nose. We want the air into the sinus cavities. That's where the CO2 uh, magic happens. And when we breathe through the mouth, it does not go there. So the in-breath through the nose, the out-breath pursing your lips as if you're exhaling through a straw, that will slow down the out breath. Let's give it a, a go. We'll do about three rounds. And of course, I invite you to do what feels right for you. Sometimes we learn by watching and doing may come later. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. One more time. In breath, belly expands and out breath. Now let's take it onto the floor. Today I've covered my mat with a blanket. I invite you to do the same. If you have a nice, soft, and plushy rug, you don't even need a yoga mat. So for this practice, you just want to have a little bit of softness. So from here, let's come onto our back body. And I invite you to start by straightening out your legs. And notice first, if your chin does pull away from the chest, maybe some tightness around the neck. And I invite you then to take a blanket, a pillow, and slide it under your head so that the head orients down towards your body and not up. That alone can increase a sense of anxiety. So calming is a downward gaze. Notice if you have some chattiness in the low back between the shoulder blades. As a practice too, we'll also work to release tension here and around the shoulders. 
Let's bend up the knees. And I like to place my hands on my belly. That allows me to feel as I breathe, does the breath go into my abdomen? That's a belly breath or diaphragmatic breath pattern. And that helps calm the nervous system down. So now I invite you to breathe in through the nose if it's available. And as you exhale, again, purse your lips. Breathing in through the nose. And exhale, pursing the lips out through the mouth. You may like to take a normal breath in and out in between these practices. The more we practice, the better understanding we get through the feelings that are created, if this is a practice that's beneficial for us, or one that right now, for whatever reason, we're just not going to do. You are in charge. I invite you to join me one more time, or simply breathe in a way that's comfortable for you. And now as you breathe in and out, in through the nose and out through the nose. Be curious about how you feel. And if things start bubbling up, leaning into them, it's okay. You don't have to go all the way in. Getting a sense of a flavor, sensations, and then again, maybe incorporating the breath, taking the edges off. We invite you to clasp your elbows, elbows above the shoulders. And then as you exhale, let your elbows draw to the right, inhaling up, exhaling to the left. Do it in an easy and gentle way. In at a pace and also distance that is comfortable for your body. Telling your body, I'm oh, here to take care of you, I'm not here to punish you or beat you up. I'm taking care of you. Easy and gentle. Now, as you draw the arms down, to the right side, let your nose go to the left. So nose opposite of elbows. Gentle and easy, allowing the muscles around the shoulders, the neck to release. And then next time you take the elbows to the right or left, let the nose and the elbows travel together. So now you're gonna look at your forearms and just let your head travel back and forth. You may find that you like one of these movements, not so much the other ones. And sticking with the one that felt the best, that is perfectly fine. You know, it feels good if it feels good. And then as you come back up to center, let's relax the arms back onto the belly. Let's slide the legs out and check in. In and out breath. Let's roll the legs in and out, rolling in and out.
And we'll bend up the knees again. And placing the feet pretty close together. But again, if it feels better to have them a little bit further apart, then I recommend you do that. We'll interlace the arms again. So we tend to always interlace in the same way. So now I invite you to switch so the other forearm is on top. That may feel a little awkward. It may be a little uncomfortable. And now you can always go back to where you were before. So we return to like an old fashioned typewriter. Elbows goes from side to side. And then it, from here, we add the nose opposite of the elbows. Old hat, right? Now, next time you look to the right, elbows to the left, let's take the knees down to the right. So nose and knees, same size. And we inhale up and exhale down to the other side. That needs a little concentration, I can tell. Only going as far as it is comfortable for you. Nose and knees to the same size. Elbows opposite. Take a break anytime your body wants to. You can pause the video. Oh, I got all mixed up there. Turn the head back and forth. And then now elbows and nose travels together, knees opposite. Does this feel different? Is it easier? Is it harder? Maybe it is neither. Maybe it just is. Gentle movement helps the body heal. When the body is well, the mind tends to be weller. Is that a word? When the mind is well, the body is weller. So through these gentle and easy practices, we enter through the door that is available to us. As you come up to center, again, let's relax the arms. And we'll slide the legs out again. Pausing, sensing, and rolling the legs in and out. It feels okay. My little extra sketch. And we'll bend up the knees again. Now this time we'll place the hands down alongside the hips. And as you inhale, taking the arms overhead, and only go as far as it's comfortable. And exhale, lower the arms back down again. Inhale, arms goes overhead. And exhale, lowering down. If it feels okay, let your low back arch. And exhale, just a gentle flattening. Easy, gentle. Resting if you choose to. If your body says, can we take a little rest up? And then next time we take the arms down, we'll keep them down. If the arms get a rest, you can give the shoulders a little shake. From here, as you inhale, we're going to slide the right leg out. Sliding it out. And sliding it back. Let's slide the left leg out. And sliding it in. 
You can slide it out on the out breath if that feels okay. You can slide it out on the in breath if that feels better. I get asked a lot, does it matter how I breathe? And I generally say, no, but I would like you to continue to breathe. So experimenting is okay. Alternating the legs in and out. And you may not like to take them all the way out, that's okay. Make it as easy as you can. And the next time you complete on the left side, pausing. We're going to add now alternating legs and arms. So as you slide the right leg out, let's take the left arm overhead and return back to where we start. Getting out and returning back. In the heel out. Maybe it feels better to exhale as you stretch out. Again, breathing is the key. Neither is right and neither is wrong. It's just the one that's right for you. Steady and easy. Let's do one more, finishing up on the left, and back where I started. Sensing, breathing, relaxing. Did something tense up become uncomfortable as you moved? Pausing and sensing. Sometimes we don't have to do anything other than let the breath sort it out, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose or pursing the lips, how we start it. If the mind, because it said something wasn't quite going its way, and we can just turn it around with the breath. From here, our next pose, our next practice is bridge pose. And for bridge pose, I do recommend that you move whatever you had under your head out of the way. Taking the hands down alongside the hips and walk your feet in pretty snugly. We'll inhale, we'll arch and exhale and flatten. Inhaling and arching. Exhale. Flattening. Gentle and easy. And then letting that go. Now inhale, we'll press into the feet, lift the hips. And exhale, lowering down. Everything cool. Breath in and out for nothing. And we'll do it again. Inhale, press into the feet. Lift the hips. And exhale, lower it down. You may find a little crappy thing happening in the hamstrings for this one here. That's very common. If that happens, just hug it, the heels towards the tush and relax and then slide the legs out. The hamstrings are simply saying, I'm not used to that one. We well, can roll the legs in and out. And when the sensation fades away, we'll give it another go. Again, feet as snug in as is comfortable. Inhaling, lifting the hips. 
And exhale, lowering down. Once you come down, inhale, arch the back. Exhale, flattening. Inhale again. So we added the bridge pose to the arch and flatten, lowering down of the out breath. Inhaling and arch. Exhale, flatten. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, lowering down. And I stand by what I said before. If the breath is just too confusing, don't worry about it. Inhaling, lifting, or lifting without inhaling, or simply inhaling. And exhale, lowering down. Let's walk the feet out as wide as the mat. We'll take the arms out to the sides and do some gentle windmill, windmill wiper twists. Knees go down to one side, nose goes to the other. So similar to where we started. Twisting releases not only tightness in the spine, but in the brain as well. We can get stuck. And when you come up to center, let's pause here. I'll take the knees in. And then rock from side to side. Draw the knees around in circles. Switch directions. As big or small as is comfortable for you. And then let's take the legs to the sky. We'll take the arms to the sky and we'll shake it out. Playful tiger. At least that's what I call this pose. I flat out stole it from another pose where they hold it still in Korean yoga. And they all just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it for up to a half an hour at a time. I like this one better. Just shake it out, shake it out having a little temper tender. The knees to the young. Drum to the chest. Now hold on to the We're going to arch again, pulling the knees away. The elbows will straighten. Exhale. Knees draws in. Inhaling. Knees draws away. Let's go back and forth in a gentle rocking motion. Not too hard. Just the right amount. And then releasing the feet. Slide the legs out. And relax the arms. Or Shavasana. We want to make sure that we are really comfortable. So maybe there's a little tension around the hips so we can roll the legs in and out again. And if you're finding that your low back is really chatty, we have a couple of options that might be helpful. One is slide under the legs. So that may feel really good. That puts the psoas muscle on a little bit of a slack. So now the low back may be able to relax a little easier. Another thing that you might like is to place the blanket across you. Pillow or blanket, it adds a little bit of weight. It can help us ground if we feel anxious drawing us closer to the earth. And then of course, where we started, your neck and shoulders may like to have a little support under the head. So whichever you choose, maybe all three. We'll take a moment, sort of settling in. 
like a dog circling in the grass as you come to rest. Explore where it's comfortable to have your hands maybe on your lower abdomen. It may also be out to the side. Cue in a yoga class. You may also like to drape your arms across your chest. That also adds a little weight. And you, of course, can change it any time. If it feels safe, I invite you to close your eyes or to keep a soft gaze down towards your body. We return to the breath, inviting it in through the nose and out through the nose. And as we do so, you might want to just have one hand on the belly and as you breathe in, does the belly expand? In through the nose and out through the nose. I invite you to relax the inner corners of your eyes. Relax the outer corners of the eyes. Invite there to, to be a smile. And relax the jaw, the tongue, the gums and the teeth. And invite a soft smile at the corners of the mouth. Relaxing the shoulders and the arms. Let them become heavy. Relaxed and comfortable way. Nothing that needs to be held on to or pushed away. Just easy. I invite your awareness to your heart. And invite a smile into the heart. Just a gentle smile. Not to cover over anything. We're just holding and in a soft and easy way. Bring the awareness to the belly. And inviting a gentle smile to the abdomen. to the pelvis, to be a gentle smile at the hips, to relax the legs, the ankles, feet and toes. Inviting ease. And 
if there is any part of your body that seems unavailable or if it's in pain. You can bring a smile to this area. Smile in the breath. A soft whisper of I love you. I'll take care of you. You're okay. And if the sensation becomes strong, then take your mind to another place in your body where there is ease, where it feels safe. Let your mind stay there. Letting the feathers soften down, the quill relax. And if it feels safe, return to the first place of nurture. But that doesn't have to be today, that can be later. When you're ready. Let your mind rest. That may be your heart. It may be your right thumb. It doesn't matter. And then a little deep in the breath, wiggle toes, fingers, bending up the knees, rocking the knees gently from side to side. We'll roll all the way over onto the right or the left side, pausing or breath. And then let's use the arms and the hands will press up. You can also choose to stay. Well, this concludes the session. Releasing tension around the neck and shoulder and the upper back. If anything bubbled up, it was really sharp. This is what you want to talk to your therapist about. Sometimes things show up. We didn't even know they were there. We store a lot of things in our bodies. And when we are ready, they arrive. As a saying in yoga, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. And our bodies does teach us a lot. I appreciate you letting me share this with you today. Namaste. Namaste.